Hello and thanks for your interest in this screencast. Since Microsoft discontinued their Windows Small Business Server line of products, Sential Server is the only alternative to have a native replacement for both Microsoft Active Directory and Microsoft Exchange in the SMB. This tutorial is one of a series of screencasts where we are going to demonstrate Sential Server capabilities as a native replacement of these Microsoft solutions. We are going to show the different use cases running real examples. In order to do this, we will use virtual machines to deploy these scenarios. In the first place, we are going to demonstrate Sential as a standalone server, the first domain server of the organization. We are going to join the Windows clients to the domain. Logging with the domain user, deploy a single sign-on architecture, which is totally compatible with the Kerberos ticket system present in a Windows server, and then we will configure shared folders and their permissions and also the GPOs that will be pushed to the join Windows clients. Here we can see the dashboard and web interface of our Sential server. So after installing the file sharing and domain services module, thing that can be easily be done from Sential's own software management interface, we can overview the initial setup we need to get the module working. Let's go to Office, Domain, and Settings. Here's the form you need. As you can see, the initial information we need is quite simple. In this case, as we said before, we are going to be the main domain controller. Next examples will be additional, for this case, main domain controller. We have to make sure that the domain name matches with our local domain name. If this is not your domain name, you can always change it from here, system, general. And hostname and domain. So this default information I already have here is enough to start um, using Sential as the main domain controller. So the only thing left will be to enable the module and save changes afterwards. Once the saving process is uh, finished, we can already see some differences in our LDAP schema. If we go to users and computers, manage. Okay, we will see domain controllers, organizational unit. We will see the group domain endings and the computers. So our new LDAP schema has everything it needs to be totally compatible with an Active Directory style schema. Now that we have this domain admins group, we are going to create a user that is going to play the role of the domain administrator. Okay. Let's just create an account with some example data. and uh, join this user to the domain admins group. Okay, now we have everything we need to join our Windows client to this domain. So here we have a Windows 7 virtual machine with a client that is inside our internal network but is not joined to the domain. How can we join this Windows machine to our central domain? It's very easy. It's basically the same thing we will do with a Windows server. So let's click on join a domain, change, write down our domain name. Okay, it's asking us for the domain admin user and password that we just created. So here we have the welcome message. And the only thing left is to reboot the machine. This Windows machine will be inside the domain. If we go to Sentinel's interface, refresh the LDAP tree, we can already see this client here in the computer's organizational unit. After rebooting our client or Windows client, we can already create a user so the Windows client can log into the domain. So let's create an example user. 
here from the Sential interface. Some example data. And let's join the domain with this user. OK, everything worked as expected. Here, John Doe, we can see that this is the, the user we created in the LDAP tree. And if we launch a command line and type down KList, we can see that the client already has all the tickets it needs to operate inside the domain, the Kerberos tickets. This can be very useful if we want to deploy several services in the different domain controllers inside our, our organization. For example, we can deploy a proxy, HTTP proxy, or a mail server, and authentication will happen transparently for the user using this Kerberos tickets here. This makes, makes the system much more usable for the final user because he doesn't have to re-enter the login credentials for each one of the services. And also it makes it more secure because the Kerberos protocol will avoid plain text or recents or all these types of security issues that you may have inside your organization. Now let's take a look at the share folders. Here we go to Office, File Sharing, and we can create a new share folder. We are going to call it marketing, for example. OK, once the share folder is created, we can control who is going to access it and which credentials do we assign to each group or user. Let's say, for example, that we want this user, John Doe, to have read and write permissions. We add this ACL, this permission line, and save changes. If we go now to the client again, we can already browse the network for share folders. Here we can see Sentinel Server and the Marketing Folder. As we explained before, there is no need to re-enter the credentials. Everything is done under the hood by the Kerber system. We can write on this folder. We will have logs, activity logs. And another advantage that you can have with Sentinel is that these serve folders inside the, the server can be synchronized with Central Cloud. So you will have a hybrid approach. You will have the contents either to access them locally inside your organization or via web interface using Central Cloud. Another important difference of having SER folders well organized inside Central is that you can very easily apply antivirus, backup, and logs, just connecting these modules with the SER folders module. We can also manage the GPOs, the group policy objects and group policy links inside our domain. If we go here to the objects and use the GPO editor, here we can manage the startup scripts and log of scripts. But actually, Sential supports any type of GPO that doesn't imply trust relations between different domains. How can we do that? Using your Windows client, we can install the RSAT tools that are available online for free. And then we have to start the session as the system administrator, the user that we created before. By doing this, we can create any GPO that will be stored in the Sential sysball and push to the other Windows clients. 